Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a barn vlog. I have so much to do today, and I thought I would bring you guys along. First, I wanna say thank you to today's sponsor. What? I know. It's the Rival Stars Horse Racing, and it's actually a really cool game. I've been playing it nonstop, and Rob has actually tried to take my phone away from me to play this game. Usually, at the end of the day, I'll like put my PJs on, take a shower. Once I hit the bed, I'm like on this game all night. The beginning of the game has like this little storyline. It feels like I'm watching a movie. I will leave the download link down below it's so much fun little things have started to unlock the more I get into the game this is my horse her name is Amara dream I actually bred her that that's in theme these days huh you can breed horses in the video game which is so cool um, she's just starting her training I picked the stallion you can go through all the studs and pick the one you like <gasps> oh there's a paint I just got to another level so they added more stallions you have different goals you have to reach Amara needs some racing under her belt you just move your thumb across the left side of the screen to move your horse right or left and this green bar up top is your sprint I don't want to waste it yet because I'm up front as soon as I feel like I start to slow down or I'm like getting behind I'll use my sprint. Oh no, no! You see, that's what I get for not paying attention. I think I just got third. That was my fault. I'm sorry, Amara. Rider error. <laughs> so your whole goal is to win these races, right? So everything revolves around that. When it comes to the jockey, you can actually pick different outfits, different colors, different designs. This is honestly so cool. I've had so much fun playing this game. You guys are gonna love it. So definitely check it out in the description box down below and let me know how it goes. Today's video, like I said, is a barn vlog. Let's go over my to-do list. All right, the first thing I need to do today is actually go to the feed store and buy some more milk replacer like I said in my last video they finish it super fast so I have to go buy some more and then once we get back I'm gonna feed them I'm gonna show you guys how I feed them how I make their milk introduce them to you I'm so excited excited for you guys to meet them after that I'm gonna wash all of my yard sale stuff well not all of it just the saddle pad and the saddle bag a lot of you guys asked me to do that for a video and I have to do it anyway so why not record it right I also want to ride crystal today try out my new saddle pad I actually have to paint a couple pieces of wood well stain I guess that are going into our chicken coop I'll show you guys what it looks like so far we've actually gotten pretty far with the building process I don't think you guys have seen my updated chicken coop if you remember I had them in a stall now they have their own chicken coop but we're finishing up the run still I have like four pieces of wood I need to stain that's kind of holding us back I haven't done that so you guys are gonna come along for that and that's it that's our to-do list today so I'm gonna go ahead and get started let's go to the feed store so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Penelope and Delilah because I know that as soon as I'm with them they're gonna be mooing so loud it's gonna be hard to talk around Valentine's Day we got Penelope and Delilah Rob actually found them on Facebook they came from a dairy factory they were unfortunately taken from their mom for Valentine's Day Rob surprised me with them and we went to go pick them up they were so so cute I have some clips of them in the back of the Jeep they were so little so tiny the day we got them they were four days old okay my camera died as I was saying we brought them home in the back of the Jeep and Delilah was actually very lethargic when we got her Penelope had more energy and she was running around and Delilah not really so when we got back we waited to see if she improved a little bit and she didn't so we called the vet and you guys I had to do some crazy stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I kind of talked about it a little bit. To keep these girls alive, I had to do the craziest things. They had scours. Well, Delilah had it first, and I actually had to drive her to the vet. She diarrheaed all over the back of the Jeep. Thank God I had like tarps put down. He was very far from me, so I had to meet him at a gas station, and we were literally doctoring her up in a gas station. People were like, what the heck? He had to tube her, which is just putting a tube down her throat and filling her with electrolytes. He gave her some antibiotics, and the next day, she was back to normal better than normal because we met her when she was already lethargic she was doing really well and then a couple days later Penelope started developing the same stuff she had the same symptoms but much much worse than Delilah when I get home I'll show you guys which one's which because I know it might be confusing Penelope is a lot smaller and she's brown and white and Delilah bigger and she's black and white they're both supposed to be the same age but I don't know if Penelope ha might be mixed with a different kind of cow I think they're Holsteins yeah Penelope's she's a little sweet pea she's a little one so Penelope started developing the same stuff and Penelope was worse I thought she was gonna die you guys like she wasn't getting up every time I try to hold her up she'd fall back over she wasn't even holding her head up she had it like in the dirt I tried to lift her head she would just drop it her mouth was cold and like pale I literally thought she was dying it was insane before she got that bad I actually met the vet and he gave me some antibiotics to take home and give to Penelope so I actually had to give her the injections which is really hard for me like I've given injections to horses before and with cows it was a little bit 
different. You have to put the needle in at an angle. It's not straight in like I've done before with horses. I had to put a tube down her little throat and like, oh, it was hard. It was hard for me, but I had to do it if she was going to survive. That was that. Like a couple days after that, she just worsened. Like I said, she looked really bad. I met the vet again and I brought Penelope. He gave her an IV. He tubed her more antibiotics and thankfully she recovered. She's 100% now, but that's just a little backstory of what my life has been like so far with these cows. <laughs> it's been a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. I know I get a lot of comments saying, I want cows now. They're so cute and they are. They're the cutest thing ever, but I feel like I have a responsibility to clarify that it's been a lot of work. Now it's kind of slowing down now because they're, they're starting to wean off the milk. They like to headbutt you because that's just their instinct. That's what they do to their mom's udders to get more milk. Did I say that right? Udders? I don't know. I'm still learning. Feeding them three times a day, making the milk, washing the buckets. It's been a lot, but we're finally getting out of that phase, so it's been a lot better. But yeah, I just felt the need to tell you guys that. But they're so cute and they're so worth it. And if you can commit to that, then yes, I just wanted to say that. But yeah, we're arriving at the feed store now and we'll pick up some milk. This is the Duralife Enhanced Non-Medicated Calf Milk Replacer. <laughs> That's a long name. I used to feed this one and we just switched to this one like a week ago. <laughs> Milk replacer? Check. All right, are you guys ready to meet the girls? They're calling. <laughs> Come here, little girl. Hi. Meet our internet friends. <laughs> guys, this is Delilah. Hi, Pee Pee. Say hi to the vlog, Penelope. I don't know if you'll be able to notice the difference. Delilah's huge compared to Pee. Hi, sweet girl. Look at this. Look at this craziness right now. Look at this craziness. So this is kind of what it looks like when it's feeding time. I'm just constantly getting beat up and headbutted <laughs> like this. <laughs> over their mooing as you can see they're super loud I used to feed them in a bottle but now that they're older I've gotten them more used to drinking out of a bucket so I've been trying to do that lately but for today I am gonna use the bottle on Delilah so I already filled their buckets with water now I'm gonna go ahead and add the powder I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the bottle. This is the huge bottle that I've been feeding them in. I'm gonna leave this one in the bucket for Penelope and I'll use the bottle on Delilah. So for me not to make a mess, I have to use a funnel. Even with the funnel, I tend to spill it everywhere. I'm just gonna let her drink that after she finishes the bottle. Delilah is very feisty. Well, she's not mean, she just like wants the milk. What I've been trying to do lately is actually separate them, so I'll let one of them come outside and then I'll leave the other one in the paddock just so that they can drink in peace. Delilah drinks her milk so fast, so she'll finish hers and then she'll go and bother Penelope and Penelope won't get a chance to drink. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Well, this is good, you'll see how hard this is for me, you'll see. initial part of this process like actually bringing in the buckets and the bottle is like hard because <laughs> they charge at me like not in a mean way they just really want their milk they always have access to fresh water hay and grain so anyway this is Delilah now that she's calm I can actually focus on introducing you guys Penelope is still wonky like I want to get her checked again just because she always breathes really really hard I don't know if that's like an underlying thing and I want to make sure she's okay and when she eats she gets a little bloated but she's still skinny which is weird because she 
eats a lot. So that's why I'm worried. I don't know if she might have worms or if there's something else going on. So I want to get the vet to check her out. But yeah, this is a messy job. I literally get so dirty every time I do this because they slobber all over me. Look at that slobber. Look at all that slobber, my goodness. Let me get her the bucket because she's done. So anyway, I keep them in a stall, the same stall I used to keep the chickens in. I keep them in there just because I'm worried about like coyotes and stuff like that. And then during the day, I let them out in this little paddock. And they've been eating grass, they've been eating hay, they've been eating their grain, so they're doing good. All right, they are fed. Peace taking a little nap over here. Are you finally satisfied? Are you gonna continue to moo all day, huh? No, of course, oh my goodness. Now that I have them both together, you can see the difference a little bit. So this is Delilah up here, and then this is Peanut, my little Penelope. Lila is the needy one. She always wants to be the center of attention, which I love. <laughs> what I've been doing lately is trying to get them halter broke a little bit. I got them a halter. Look at her. What do you want? <laughs> so at night, this is their little spot right here. It's all enclosed with this mesh just in case because we have crazy, crazy animals that come here sometimes. So this is where they stay at night. And then during the day, I let them out loose through here. Here comes Pete. Hi, Penelope. Hi, sweet girl. I'm telling them about where your room is. <laughs> but um, anyway, I got them this little halter and I've been putting it on them sometimes, like just during the day when I'm out here with them, just cause I don't want to leave them unattended with the halter on cause they're young, they're babies and I'm worried they'll get caught on a tree or something and I just, I'm paranoid. So I kind of just put it on them when I'm out here and I switch between the two. One day I'll let Penelope wear it, one day I let Delilah wear it just cause I didn't want to buy two of the same size. They grow out of it fast. I have a bigger one that's still a little bit too big for Delilah, but I think she'll grow into it in like a week. Let's go ahead and put this on Penelope. If she lets me. Hello, Pina. Oh my gosh. Delilah never lets me do anything. Look at her. I don't know why I always kiss them because I know I'm gonna get so dirty, but I just can't resist their cute little face. Hi, Pipi. Look how beautiful you look in your halter. Huh? I think pink's your color. You're so cute, P. My little peanut. She's so cute, but as you guys see, every time she's always coughing and breathing super hard, so I have to get the vet to come out and check her because I'm just, I'm worried about her. Even though she eats and walks around and plays like normal, just that coughing and the heavy breathing all the time worries me. But yeah, okay, I think we're done with the calves. I have so much more to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the next thing on my to-do list is to actually wash some of the stuff I got at the yard sale. If you haven't watched my last video, I did a little haul for you and showed you guys all the stuff I got at this amazing yard sale. But these were the two main things that were super, super dirty. And a lot of you guys wanted to see me include that in a video, like me washing this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna start off by brushing all the hair off of this saddle pad. Now I'm actually gonna pause and soak this in warm water with laundry detergent just so that I can let this soak while I continue on the saddle pad. I could have just put it in the washing machine, but I really wanted to just scrub it myself. But I'm gonna let it soak first before I do that. While that's soaking, I'm gonna finish off with the saddle pad. Okay, this is good enough for me. Honestly, guys, don't follow my example. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm ruining the saddle pad. Do your research and find out what your instructions are for your specific saddle pad on how to wash it. I think that's good enough with the hair. I honestly don't mind that it has hair on it. Now I'm just gonna get some warm water and a little bit of soap and just scrub it a tiny bit. Like, I don't wanna get it too soapy. Then it's gonna be really hard to get it off. Now that it's all soaked up, I'm just gonna rinse it off with water. I don't need it to be perfect. I just kind of wanted to like clean it a little bit at least. But yeah, I just put a little bit of soap, scrubbed it a little bit, and I'm gonna rinse it off. Okay, so 
it's all scrubbed, it's rinsed off, and I just put it in the sun to dry. Like I said, I might be ruining the saddle pad, but I just kind of put it out here in the direct sunlight to hopefully help it dry a lot faster. I'm still soaking the saddle bag, which I'll scrub, rinse, and put in the sun a little bit later. But for now, I'm gonna move on to painting the posts for the chicken coop. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we have so far for our chicken coop, and I'll let my chickens out in the meantime. All right, so this is what we've built so far for our chicken coop, and the run is actually on the other side, but I'll let them out for a second. Hi! Hi everybody, come on! <laughs> so yeah, this is the main side of the chicken coop. This is our actual little house. This is the other side. We were just in there. That's where all the chickens sleep. And this is their run. It's really big, but I wanted to make sure they had enough space. So we're missing this area right here. I haven't had time to stain the posts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I also have to stain the two middle ones in here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can do that once it's done. But because this side is gonna have mesh on it, I won't be able to stain once the mesh is on there. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I'm gonna start off by just brushing off whatever dirt is up here. I usually like to use a little sanding block, but I can't find it. Funny story, I've been having such an issue trying to find the exact same stain that I use for the rest of the chicken coop, but I made my own concoction with some leftover original stain and the new stain. Hopefully it won't be too obvious that it's different. I found it! <laughs> yeah, this works so much better. busy barn vlog, isn't it? I just finished painting all the posts for the chicken coop. I'll show you guys how it turned out. Looking good, looking good. I didn't get paint all over myself, so that's a good sign. I'm learning, I'm learning to stay cleaner. But anyway, painting the chicken coop post, check. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning the saddlebag. It's been soaking this whole time. I'm gonna scrub it a little bit, rinse it off, put it in the sun, and then we get to ride my pretty girl. that baby doing in there, huh? start tacking up. I'm gonna use my new saddle pad that I got at the yard sale. I haven't put it on since I got it. I did ride Dooley in it and it fit him pretty well, but I haven't tried Crystal in it. So let's see how she looks. It's perfect. I love how it literally contours to every part of her back. It looks great. Now let's see it with the saddle on. Woo, perfect. I love it, you guys. Now for my girth, I'm gonna be using the Tapestry Equine Comfort Girth. This is the Western one. You guys already saw the English one in my Giving My Western Burrow Horse an English Makeover video. I've been riding in the Western run ever since I got it and I really, really like it. I feel like it's not hard to cinch up. You just pull right up and the horses don't seem to mind it so much. Usually you can tell when they're a little bit uncomfortable. They usually don't do that with this girth. My saddle always feels very secure, even though it's not super tight. Like usually when your girth is loose, you feel a little bit more wobbly. With this one, I don't feel that way it literally keeps my saddle in place and I love that it moves with her because this has elastic in between it's much more flexible and it moves a lot more with your horse the only thing is I do wish it had a little bit more padding over here where the buckle is maybe even some of the same material I, I think this is neoprene but besides that I love this girth I'm gonna continue to use it it has worked really well for me and the horses love it and I love the design like it makes so much sense like it literally makes so much sense the horses work great in it my saddle always feels secure I I really really like it if you guys are interested in it I'll leave it in my description box below but yeah let me just finish tacking up
Now for my bridal, I'm using the Tough One Hackamore. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen me riding in this a couple of times. I absolutely love it. I bought this head stall just for this because I love it. It's like a bio theme material and I think it goes so well together. And my split reins, they're brown and the head stall's black. It doesn't match. You guys saw me haul these reins a while back. But yeah, I'm gonna ride her in this today. We're gonna see how it goes. I haven't ridden her in so long. We've worked a lot. She's, she's a good girl, <laughs> right? All right, let me just put this on. I think I have it adjusted to Brandy's size. <laughs> Hold on, pretty girl, I know it's tight. This headstall is actually from Weaver. I always feel like I'm saying that wrong, Weaver. I just bought it at my local tax store. I thought it went perfectly with this. What I love about riding in this instead of a halter is it doesn't ride up. I found that every time I would ride in a rope halter, I would just clip the reins to the side. When they would pick their head up, the nose part would just come all the way up to their eyes. And with this, I can actually adjust it so that it stays tight down here. But yeah, okay, we're good to go. Let's go on our ride. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed coming along. We did so much. I think I completed my to-do list. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Cindy Valentina and this is Crystal. And we would love it if you subscribed. All you gotta do is just click that red subscribe button down below. And that's it. I think that's it, right? All right, you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.